Didn't, what I didn't tell anybody is that we create music. Homie. Yo, what's good? What's going on, everybody? It's chilling, man. See, I got this big crater on my face, but I'm still looking good. He's used to the basketball drops, you know what I mean? He, 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 we create the music. This is the first time I'm telling anybody this. I might even sample something. I think we came up with a, with a good plan, but it's gonna take like two years to see this one through. You gonna get it, man. You gotta stay steady. That's what they tell you in school, you know what I mean? Well, you, you a teacher though. It's old, old news. You know what I mean? I want to do better things. Oh, so. He said he don't eat meat, pause. Two years, when I was in LA, I was a vegan. I'm, a, I'm not a vegan anymore because I realized that the people that was eating no meat still got canceled. The vegans got canceled. Yeah? Yeah. I don't want no meat. Hey, yo. Disrespectful to animals, doing them dirty. It's true. You know, I'm just trying to live a little bit different, that's all. You want to eat that tofu? Yo, they they, tofu, tofu. they don't be doing. Tastes like tur turkey, man. Get yeah. it cooked right, sliced stuff. So Hold it on, let, like turkey. Wait, let me get a question. I got a question. So, do you think they do seeds dirty too? Seeds. And they do plants dirty. <laughs> they do everything dirty. I don't know what to do. So you mean those? I'm trying, man. <laughs> yo, yo. I'm so, trying. Hold on. Let me ask you. So you think? Hold on. You think the the plants feel violated when we pull them out the ground and just chop them? You don't? Yeah, I think so. I think the plants have feelings. The plants have feelings. And so do the animals. The animals have feelings. So. Your life is cruel. So what are we supposed to do? Don't eat? You know what I mean? Shit so that's... Die. That's what gotta die for us to live. That's why I eat meat. <laughs> Laundry. I don't like doing laundry. I never did like doing laundry, but I do laundry. And today's laundry day. And I don't like it. That's mine. That's mine. I have any. No. I don't know how to feel, man. I just have a lot of clothes. Look, these clothes, I really don't dry my clothes like that. I have a thick, and, and it's like, look how thick this is. And it's like, I got more. I have a lot of clothes and then that's like half my wardrobe that I have to wash. It's an extreme amount of clothing. Yeah. It's just uncomfortable to keep doing all this laundry. In my past life, I was a camera guy, a camera operator. So, and I haven't done it in like two years. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna see how fast I could land a job a camera job. I haven't done it maybe in over two years. So I'm out the loop. So I'm starting from fresh. I'm gonna see if I could land a camera job today and how fast it would take if I could do it at all. <laughs> now, there's a couple issues I'm foreseeing. One is I don't have an updated reel. So everything I'm gonna do is gonna be based off of my past steam. I don't know. I don't know how. I'm gonna call old friends, and I'm gonna call. We're, we're, let's see. It's gonna be very interesting. One of these listings, we start at Craigslist, then we go to another site maybe mandy and then we hit up the email chain and the text message chain which is where you get the majority of all your work this is the process let's see if we can get it done at this moment i was looking at the websites from the posts on craigslist and i was tailoring my responses to what they were requesting 
I was in deep thought. Um, couldn't quite figure it out, but let's see what happened. Okay, so it's like maybe four or five hours in and nobody called me back. It's a lot harder than I thought it was. It's the way it goes sometimes. I mean, I'm, I mean, the industry is not the same as it was maybe even two years ago. It's a completely, totally different game. So you can't really expect or anyone can really expect to just jump into getting a job out the gate. I mean, people aren't hiring. I'm shooting on an iPhone. Everyone's shooting on an iPhone. I mean, shit. commercials are being shot on an iPhone now. I have to give it some time, you know. It's a little nerve-wracking. I wanted to meet my goal today, but whatever, you know. If you don't meet it, you don't meet it. We're going to keep on trying until the day is done. And hopefully somebody uh, calls me back and goes, hey, hire Okay, so I'm feeling really good. Somebody called me back and they asked me, when am I ready to start? Now, this person I met on Craigslist, or I didn't really meet them, but I put an ad out there. I responded to that ad on Craigslist and it worked. So I'm waiting for them to get back to me and let me know, I guess, when to start. But I guess it could be done in a day. <laughs> I have not in all fairness, I have old work. So at least it shows something. But for the everyday average person wanting to be a cinematographer or do camera work and stuff, the reality is you have to get your reel up. In other words, you, your resume needs to speak volumes or some sort of volume to somebody who sees your work valuable. So, and I think that's what worked in my case. It's just my old work. But it worked. So I keep you in updated and I keep you posted on what's going to go down with that. Very interesting. I didn't think anyone was going to call me back. So yay. A smile is something that we all use to communicate to each other in a very positive way. It's like the bar entry for, I like you. The one place I hate being, the dentist office, the drilling all in my mouth, <laughs> if need be. I just have a big question. What's that? My crown came out, so now I have to go to the oral surgeon. I sat in the seat. He opened my mouth. I thought he was going to look. He took the thing and just went zzz. No warning. I'm surprised I could even smile. Ouch. I purposely did this, and I did it for good reason. I'll explain to you very soon. Okay, so there's a reason why I showed you that bank account statement. The light. The reason why I showed you that is because this is something that I've been thinking about for a very long time, not just this month, but for a long time. And what I always wanted to do, and which I'm doing at the most dangerous time in my life is, drum roll please, I'm starting from scratch. You see, 
I made a pledge to myself years ago that I'm gonna make a million dollars. And I wanna make a million dollars. I wanna prove to myself that I can do it. And I think I have what it takes. I think I know my way around the markets and I pretty much know my way around life. It's time to put all my training to the test. And I'm gonna do all of this while still continuing to get money from my everyday work. What I'm extremely nervous about is the fact that I'm not sure if I'll have enough time to complete this task. It completely scares me. <laughs> I don't wanna embarrass myself. I don't wanna embarrass my family. And quite frankly, it's just outright scary. I'm with Vinny. He's a coward. Peace. And I'm asking Vinny if you had to give any bit of advice to make one million dollars in one month, what would that be? Just pure drive and aggression. If my life depended on it, yes. something that you think is gonna boom and you gotta put your heart into it and really help it drive, you better go quick. It's really hard, it's a right? Month, it's incredibly hard, almost impossible. Nobody wanted to answer any questions. I guess that's a financial thing, but at least I get to finally come in here. Whoa, holy moly. What I found out is a lot harder for people to speak about money, I guess, on camera. Nobody wants to talk on camera about money, but I did get some good sound suggestions and advice. One that actually threw me for a loop. He said, organ harvesting. I guess you really could make a lot of money harvesting organs. I'm still gonna look for opportunities for regular work, and I'm gonna look for opportunities for large work. They say there's tons of opportunity in America, so we're gonna put it to the test. But hopefully I didn't play myself through this whole process. Mm. But, Eden, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to try to make $1 million in one month. You think I could do it? Yeah. Really? Mm. What? I want to show myself it could be done. What can be done? Aren't you doing homework? Okay. And I want to do it so much and then grow exponentially to just keep repeating the process for about $50 million this year. Now, a lot of people think it can't be done. But I think on the contrary, I think it can be done. Right, Aiden? Yeah. It's the simple things in life that make it all worth it. You just can't buy happiness. No matter how much money you make or try to make or how successful you think you are, you ain't gonna buy happiness. You just might as well enjoy every single moment while you're living. Where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? Where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? Stick to YouTube. It's like TV. You have to give me another day to reach my million in a month. A million in a month? You didn't see the last video. Totally didn't. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a million dollars in a month. Oh snap. But so we're going to where are we going? To Little Town, New York. That's about an hour away. I'm gonna go to sleep though. You know what I mean? I'm gonna drive. have to take one day off and have to visit beautiful people in hospitals having babies. And guess who's next? 
That's right. I'm not used to other people filming me, you know what I mean? So check this out. They call me Big Daddy C, that's why I'm in the hospital, because I'm a Big Daddy C. You know what I mean? Jelly Bean, am I getting too close? That's why they call me the go. Been in the hospital two days in a row, one for a baby's birth and one to make sure my dad is all right. set myself up for a lot of a lot of money somebody else is getting the majority of the money that I'll be generating for them those days are over it just doesn't make sense financially actually I'm gonna return this car I think next week I have a baby being born next week and I'm gonna return this car hopefully I don't get divorced which I probably will at the rate I'm moving People are just happy to get jobs and stuff like that's cool, but we're past that. Everyone's looking at me crazy, but if there were more people like me, we would all be so much further in life. I believe that if you're not there for me now, in the time that I'm readjusting, you don't need to be there when everything goes well. This level I'm doing it is something no one's ever, not, not anyone that I know personally hasn't never even thought about. I had about eight deals last year and eight of them didn't go through i'm talking about 50 million even talks of 100 million i mean a slice of that is better than what people's salary is in four years making a hundred thousand dollars but but i will say this i started this challenge and i said by any means necessary i was filling out job applications and i did get callbacks See, look, see, I film it. Oh, wow. So that's how I know what's going on. Oh. I tell you right now, it's 43 degrees out. It ain't cold. Are you nervous to do this surfing business in New York City? I learned how to surf last summer, really. After surfing, like, around the world. Boys away, my boys Got to get that pre-check. It's clutch. It's zippy doo. Look at that line versus my line. Pre-check. Where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? Where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone go? Stick to YouTube, it's like TV. Okay, are you ready, spaghetti? <laughs> hey, we got through security checkpoint. And off we go. I'm at the airport a lot, more than I would like to be. I get terrified of flying. <clears throat> a lot of us are scared to fly. Some people say they're scared of failure, but it's not that. They're really scared of success. I realize I have my own issues I have to deal with, so I'm dealing with them. Most 
people know me as being a producer or somebody in the film business, but before that I had a completely different trajectory in life. Something else I really wanted to do. And it had nothing to do with film. See, I always wanted to be an entrepreneur. That's exactly what I'm working towards right now. There's an extremely bad habit I have of blaming others when things go wrong. I want to say I'm influenced by the majority of my friends, but I have to put the blame on myself. I'm my own worst enemy. There's no malicious intent, but it's just out of inspiration. I try to tell people you have to do this, you have to do that. And it doesn't work because in the long term, even if they were to do what I want them to do, I wouldn't feel fulfilled. This time, I'm not gonna make the same mistakes. I'm gonna put myself straight through the fire. I'm gonna roll on through life. So, with all this laundry on my bed, it's only fitting that I tell you that I'm just only airing out my dirty laundry. I found out I have to push myself to extremes that nobody else has the guts to go to. I have to be the example for what me and my family could strive for. I have to break the cycle for my family if we want to actually achieve happiness. There has to be somebody that is the forerunner, the leader of change. Holy moly, can I look up? Yes. Don't fall in here. No way, Jose. I'm completely... Gary? Nah, I got locked out here. Even though I know the grass isn't always greener, I at least have to, at least in my lifetime, experience what it's like to at least feel to be on the other side of things, particularly happiness. It's cold as crap out. Oh. Well, hopefully, I can change other people's lives by doing stuff that nobody would ever assume themselves doing. So I could be the prime example for what needs to get done. Oh my God. Uh-oh, spaghetti -o. Oh shit, boss. Fuck you. New baby. We have a new baby on the way. Where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? Where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? Stick to YouTube. It's like TV. After applying to all of these jobs, I got two job offers, perfect, everything is good. But I realized that through points in my life, I had options and those options took me to the next step in my life. You see, what I have is the long play versus the short play. It's what I really wanna do versus what just gets me by. This is the dilemma I'm facing. I have a decision to make. I have to choose between two totally different lifestyles. Now, my plan was to make one million a month meeting with bankers, and now it's time to really start. I got to dedicate my life to the line of work that makes me the happiest. I don't know which one it's gonna be, but I have to choose soon. Do I really not have the time now, or am I making excuses? I have 
Ashish is my guy. I love this guy. I'm in a dilemma. I did a challenge and my challenge was, <laughs> I set out to make a million in a month. All right, are we at the end of the month? Nowhere near. What do you think I need to do to hit a million? What are you doing to hit a million? Are you trying to sell something? Are you trying to provide a service? The quickest way I see is buying a already an IP or- Like I'll do my research and find out IPs that are working internationally or ideas that might work here as TV pitches. And then I would spend the rest of the month trying to sell that to anybody who's listening. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Ashish Dugni. You can just put the, you know, like lower third or whatever. I'll put his link in the bio. This guy's stuff is really good, by the way. <laughs> Matter of fact, with my iPhone, dog. Yeah. With my iPhone, dog. Matter of fact, with my iPhone, dog. As creators, video behind the scenes and in front of the scenes, if we don't do this, YouTube, we're fucking out the game. This, I can't see moving forward how we could stay afloat if we're not creating content nonstop. It's like, it's like doctor offices, dentist offices that are not on Google Maps. Right. After all these years, my wife is still not used to my work habits. The only way I figure I could combat this is to bring home the bacon. I'm noticing a troubling trend within myself that only I noticed. When the going gets hard, I work production jobs instead of trying to go for more and for my own dreams. I'm gonna miss this car. This car has taken me from California to New York to Florida back only 30,000 miles in four years. It's my baby. But today, she gotta go back. That's how I'm feeling right now. Right, Alan? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> it's my guy right here, Alan. Does the damn thing. I yes, appreciate sir. it. like TV. I was at my son's um, church service today and um, for some reason the theme of today has just been about like God and church and belief and stuff like that. And Lord knows I need it. It's amazing how belief gets us through life and belief gets us to just the next level and the next step, every step along the way. And I believe this world is not made to really help everybody. Just those few that make it slip through the cracks and um, I don't know where I fit. Before I actually start my challenge, I have to do my due diligence. This guy is known to be a $50 billion coach. Disclaimer. This guy is very vulgar. He's not nice in any sort of. I've been in the house for the past two days. Sometimes you just need to take days off. 
Um, I went to the park, played basketball, saw a couple old friends. The ball was deflated, but I got some shots up. It's not the same, but I traveled my left, even though I'm not a lefty. But, yeah. And then... Basketball. Yeah! Tore my rotator's cuff, so my shot looks a little, like, hesitant. Such a good ball player. Used to be good, used to be good. No, no more. Where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? Where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? Stick to YouTube, it's like TV. My friend Ro, who has the Manchester Pearl, if you click the link below, you'll see the promo code. Just type in Colin, you'll get 10% off. Yeah, this is my guy, Ro. Woo! Legion, Manchester Pearl. Sheesh. This right here is perfect for college students. You know Look at this. Too. For the cool kids. Manchester Pearl dot shop. My wife was pregnant. She had my daughter. <laughs> Thank God everything came out good and I finally got my girl. The pressure would just be coming from my wife. Some men just give in. Some men just go. You know what, I'm, I'm here to just make the family happy. You know, I also have to do it within my parameters. Don't forget to buy Manchester Pearl clothing. The link is in the description. This is my old high school. It is kind of feels weird to be on the same steps about 20 years later. Man, 20 years, wow. Who, me? It is. It's like closure of sorts to be on this campus. This campus feels really nice, by the way. I remember my first day of school, I had on purple uptowns and purple shirt and black jeans. I'm still the same guy. 10 years, almost 10 years ago. I used to make these little vlogs. We over here at Peel, your boy Ro killing the burger. I used to tell everyone back there, yo, this is the way. It's, it takes me time commenting on people's channels, filming how I want to film, what I want to film. This is old school for me right here. And we're gonna do old school. Uh, little back? No thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Even though I was doing film and I was producing, I just not fulfilled. I want to get more from life. Look, if the dishwasher's on, I don't know why the dishwasher's on, but. Pardon. Got my little Debbie's cake. This is my old stomping grounds where I used to hang out at, where all my friends, my homie Steven used to live up there. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Queens. Don't forget to hit subscribe right below this video. I want the boys to grow up in a way where they're not slaves to their profession. I wanna make sure that they're groomed the right way. There's some professions that you have to physically use your body and you have to, but you know, if people wanna see you make videos, that is probably the best hustle of all time. Yes, queen, yes, queen, yes, queen. I'm gonna ask you guys to please leave comments. I need advice. I need your opinions. Your opinions matter more than you can imagine. So please, below, just leave comments, whatever you can do. Subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I need more subscribers. There's people who text me, who call me, go, oh, I love your video. Aww. I'm like, ah, oh, that's cool, but subscribe. And I'll see you guys the next video. Thank you, and I'm out. Then we would get quarter waters and, and uh, 25 cent Little Debbies, and then we would go back to the park, go play some more basketball. Those were the days, that's what we used to do.
How's it feel to make a meal? Does it feel like a thrill? Or do you feel you got skills? Please tell me the deal. Speaking of deals, is it real? Six figures to post, post stills? You mean to tell me somebody pays you to post pictures and they don't even blaze you? Shit, I miss this boat. I tell you right now, I'm hopping back in the moat. I'm a public figure, my avatar's my face. They gon' love me, nigga. Man, I can't wait. It's plies and camp, get it popping for who they are. And Khaled is popping after getting lost in the dark. There's a fight and chance I'll be a star. Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? Where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? Where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? Where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? As creators, video behind the scenes and in front of the scenes, if we don't do this, YouTube, we're fucking out the game. Slash TikTok. It's changed. Yeah, it's changed. If, like, there's no, there's, I can't see moving forward how we could stay afloat if we're not creating content nonstop. I snap pics on Snapchat, but I don't get it. I understand Twitter, I don't get Reddit. Instagram, I get, but can't get with it. TikTok and Trilla, forget it. I stick to YouTube, it's like TV. I'm old school, I like things easy. Please don't knock me, I know I'm moxie. It's just too hard to keep up with technology. All my young friends, conversations get recorded. I'm like okay then, just like CK, just like Aiden. There's a gap between my generation, bringing it back. How much did they pay you off? The snap pics just the way you are? They give you money to post your thoughts? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? Where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? Where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? Where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? going on all right this is a full-time job and you don't see returns your ROI for a year where's my iPhone dog matter of fact where's my iPhone dog where's my iPhone dog matter of fact where's my iPhone dog stick to YouTube it's like TV you know the rain I don't like the rain well I actually do like the rain, but there's certain days I don't like the rain. And this is one of those days. I get a chance to start from blank, from, a, from a, just a flat, white piece of blank paper and I wanted to see if I can achieve the goals that I set out for even though I'm not seeing a penny from it but for my soul and spiritually I feel so good <laughs> This is a huge Barnes and Nobles. Huge, huge. Now I have to find who I'm meeting with. I don't know where I'm going. I started out doing the million dollar challenge and throughout it all, I realized that that's not the most important thing in my life. I've been more concerned with making good content. Purchase your Manchester Pearl clothing on the website, manchesterpearl.shop. I just want to say that through this most tumultuous time in my life, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I know everyone's probably like, what is Colin doing? He's out of character. No, I'm not. It just means you don't know me well enough to know that this is who I really am. So I'm at the wrong one. I'm supposed to be across the street. I'm supposed to be across the street at Whole Foods. All the way across the park. It was frightening for me to put out that music video because nobody's ever seen me do that. Just like that one phone call or that one text means a lot to me. 
and I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much, everyone. Don't forget to drink Monsi. There's the new flavor, the turmeric. The ginger turmeric, oh my God, it tastes so good. You have no idea. This is the original. I have the iced tea somewhere, but um, you put the code in Colin, you also get another 10% off this beautiful drink. This right here, you can make this hot. You can drink it as is, room temperature or cold. It tastes really good cold. You can make it as a mixed drink. I even made my own drink, Calamansi Truce. When I look at my real time schedule, I only film about maybe 1% of my day, maybe two. And that's like those clips you see is just me going, oh yeah, that's right. I have to remember to film. But that's as simple as my life is. It's not to break um, records and be the one and only. We are building. Think tanking, getting ready to get some really cool stuff going for you guys. Can't wait, I'm working with the best, so stay tuned. Chloe Onyx, at Chloe Onyx, C-H-L-O-E-O-N-Y-X. Link in the bio, link in the bio. Don't forget to subscribe, um, leave comments, thumbs up. Don't forget to put the thumbs up, type away your comments, subscribe, 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 subscribe. I think I'm gonna help Andy find a girlfriend. Really? How'd it go? I mean, I actually knew her from some before. But you're looking for a YouTube girlfriend? Nah. I'm yeah. I'm looking for like some fake, like a fake. YouTube. Like DDG and uh, Riley? Yeah, but not even like oh, let's be fake. I don't like the the corny like let's fake a relationship. I'm just I just need a girl that I like boom. I'm gonna film you. Boom, boom, boom. Let's do like 20 videos type shit. Andy, where are you gonna find a girl? That's bad, that does YouTube in New York City on the street. I need to go do crazy shit like grope guys in and, public. And so this girl, he, he, she was into him. She seen him from across the street. Oh, and nice. she was like, oh, okay. You know, I swear to God. And then he gives the number, everything is good. Then he does this weird little kick dance after. And I saw her face, she was like. <laughs> you just gotta be yourself and then she don't even like you more, right? Okay, so comment below. Let's get some feedback on what he just said. And also subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe below. Well, sometimes it's just that the girl is nice. But like, hey, like she's attractive and she's just a nice person. Listen. So then if you if you talk to her, she'll be smiling. And she'll, that don't mean she likes you. We got to get Andy a girl. Bro, a honestly, YouTube girl. I need, yeah, I need, a, I need to get a fake girlfriend. So that way other girls look at me like, oh, now I'm going to try to snatch her. Because girls just be like stealing shit. They so you would waste guy. your time trying to get a fake girl? No, no, no. The girls don't even like the guy. They'll just, they will just they just want to steal a guy type shit, bro. That's, why that's what he that's wants. That's why when guys are in relationships, they end up getting more offers. Just because they're in a relationship, bro. That's New York City for you, man. That's New York City. Today, studio time. See you soon. CK got a 75 on his test and his mom and I weren't happy. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna set him on a straight and narrow. 
We're gonna go to the library, get a book for him, and I'm gonna have him read it. But this is not gonna be an average book. Watch. Hey man, how's uh, everything? Good. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the library now and get some books for you. What are you doing? You're hiding your stuff? Oh. What are you doing? I'm watching something. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go get some new books for you, okay? When I get home, you're gonna study, right? Yeah? Yeah. What are you looking at? I play. I, I beat the guy. All right, and when I, get, when I get back, we're gonna do what? Read. Where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? Where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? I stick to YouTube. It's like TV. The library's closed. I'll probably do something else, like I might take him out to the park and he has to make like a hundred jump shots in order to not do any homework. Hey man, you got lucky. You know why? Why? There's no books, because the library's closed. But, come here. There's one thing though. Come here, come here. Don't. Go put on your basketball clothes because I'm going to take you to the park and you're going to shoot jump shots. Yeah. Since you did bad on your test, you're going to have to make a lot of shots to make up for it. What? what did you get on your test? 70. And then, to, and then to get 100, how many do you need? I don't know. Count. <laughs> What's 100 minus 75? What? What is 100 minus 75? Where are you going? 100. Zero. In order to get 100 from 75, you need 25. Oh. So you have to make 25 shots. Ooh. Okay? Then you have to give me something. Yeah. Let's see if he's going to run after 25 shots. <laughs> You're going to have to make 25. has one more. He did it. He did it. I got 101. How does it feel to make up for your test? Good. Was it too easy? Yes. It was too easy to do? Yeah. Next time you're going to have to make 75. I want 4 million K bites. Uh, you don't get me. You're not getting your merch. <laughs> what merch do you have? I have no merch. I don't have merch. So how are they going to get something that you don't have? As you can tell, I'm proud of my boy. For making up for his... A hundred! He got a hundred. So he had a 75 on his test. So I said you have to come out here and make 25 shots in order to make up for it so you can get a hundred. And he made 25 shots in like five minutes. That's pretty good. What? That means you're talented. You ready to go home? No. I am. Hey, who's the most athletic? I'm the most athletic kid. But you just lost. It's just a game. I want my dollar. <laughs> Could you beat me? Uh, next time push-ups. Ready? Three. Two. One. These young people think they could beat old people. You're, you're gonna give me five dollars. For what? I, I, I won. won. How did you win? What do you guys think? Did this guy win or did I win? Below. What could you beat me in? Jumping jacks. Three, two, one. So easy. <laughs> what else could you beat me in, man? 
Did you win that one? I have no idea. I got a hundred and a half now. Got a fake hundred. Mm -hmm. Cause you have to get a hundred on all your tests moving forward. Come on. That well, come hard. on work. That's not expected hard. of you? No, that's a little bit hard. Why? That should be normal. What happened to before you used to get a hundred on all your tests? What happened? Uh, you stopped studying? Yeah. Why? Kids, don't be like that. <laughs> Aiden, I have a question. Yes? How long have you been playing with your phone all day? I never been playing with my phone all day. What how long how many hours you think you've been playing with the phone? One. One hour. Look, I have video of you on the phone for a long time. Well, you know, we have to balance. We have to balance being on the phone and also studying, right? Yeah. So since you were on it for about four hours, let's study for four hours now. I never did that. Let's study for four hours now. Well, I wasn't on there for four hours. What were you doing all day? I wasn't on my phone all day. No. What were you doing? I was playing with my teddy bear. How many hours were you playing with your teddy bear? 200. How many hours did you study today? Two. All right, time to study now. Oh. Let's study for four hours. I never did that. Oh. Okay, I have the perfect book for Aiden. No! A wicked son of a witch. Give me that. All right. It's always gonna be an excuse. I can't even read this much. This is a big book. I think today's a day look. How? He's only five years old. No, I'm not reading this. Can I get back to my phone? No. Do I gotta read this again? Aiden's gonna have to read that whole book since he spent no time reading today. Uh, I'm not. This is a whole book and I'm not reading it. I'm taking a nap, mister. It's always gonna be an excuse. Is your turn to read? <gasps> Wait, what do you mean? What book? Let's pick a hard book for me. No. Come on, Dad. This? You're crazy. How am supposed to read this? Let's find out. The Arabian Nights. Arabian Nights. Sharing does make brothers of us all. Truly so. Thy words short by a hell. I don't know this. Please. <laughs> I have CK reading Arabian Nights and speaking in biblical terms. He doesn't, he can't read it. That's your punishment. You know, that's your punishment. Next time you get a bad grid, you're gonna have to read this whole book. Does anyone have any suggestions that I should make him read? Comment below if you know what I should give this guy to read next time he misbehaves or he doesn't get a good grade on his test. Make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe, 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 subscribe. You have to go subscribe, 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 subscribe. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. Say subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. All right, okay. So we get it. Uh, anyway. Leave a like on this video. And comment down below what grade did you get on your test? Because I got a 75. Last year, he got every single award. Are you going to do that again this year? Yes. Why? Because... Uh, I want to get principal's honors on Yeah, but you got 75 on your test. How are you going to get principal's honors? By keeping up the good work. If you give kids hard books to read, they will be far advanced. What do you think? Mm -hmm. He doesn't care about school. A do you little know? bit. But that's where all your friends are. If you didn't go to school, would you have friends? Kids, it's important to go to school because that's where you find all your friends. When you stay home, is it fun? 
No. Make sure you buy this uh, on Halloween. It's on my merch site. What's your merch site? Um, CKPlusAiden.com. If you want to buy anything from CK Aiden, email Colin, C O L I N, at Batiste.media. The link below. If you want to buy this, if you want to buy this too, go at my merch site. What is that? A rainbow. If you want to buy this, we don't know how much it is, but leave us an offer in the email. Guys, yeah, this is going to be. This right here? It's $50. Buy that for $50. This right here, you hang up like this. Boom. You put it on your it's door. Flip this. Boom. So I you, you flip this and it's a, what is this, an eye? Yeah. It's an eye. I made this whole thing by myself. And if you, if anybody it. wants that, just uh, send us an email and we'll work everything out. Yeah. CK makes a um, bunny ear. He takes pants and makes bunny ears out of pants and he could custom design it for you specifically for you if you send us an email okay everybody please don't forget to subscribe 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 leave a comment below and also like. thumbs up and anything else you want to say we're going to four million subscribers four million subscribers by when today uh, four tomorrow. Let everybody help us get four million subscribers. I, I'll, Share our video. I'll give you four months to give me that much subscribers. And what if they don't? No merch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye. This could be it. This could be it. Anthony Joshua, you're next. Where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? Where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? Stick to YouTube, it's like TV. This video was sponsored by Power Beats Pro by Beats. These are a good set of headphones to listen to, to drown out the noise around you, especially in a subway setting. They fit cozy in your ear, and no matter how you move around, they won't come out which is a plus for me. The size of the case is pretty large, but I have pretty big pockets, so it's no issue. At first glance, it's a pretty case, but pretty big. When you open it, it's easily accessible to grab the headphones and put them in your ear. Opening the case is a bit cumbersome. It's not gonna be as easy. To pair it with your phone, it's pretty easy. All you do is press that button and look for the little white button to appear give you the instructions at the top of the case. When I initially put the headphones in my ear, it took me a while to get used to putting them in. Putting the headphones back in the case wasn't as easy for me. It took me a while to get used to, and it was quite a learning curve. I still have issues with it. But once you get it, it's perfect. These headphones are not that bad to jam out to. Last night I was at the party, Josh whispers to me, yo, you want to work today? Yes, I do. Now I have to find a way to get upstairs. Don't know where I am. Hey, how do I get upstairs? Thank you. Got you. This is Brooklyn. You gotta love it. So on floor number two. Sorry. I'm scared of heights. I'm gonna be experimenting with different types of uh and, you, know, you don't know how heights make me so scared. Okay, let's hit it. I get so nervous with heights. Uh, it just gives me like these queasy feeling in my legs. What we working on today? The can nizzles. Mm -hmm. 
going out the Fuji. Oh, yeah, I got chairs. Yeah, I don't even, you know, I, I've never even used these cameras before. Now we're just waiting for the talent to get here, then it's showtime. I've been training for a marathon, and even though I haven't ran one, I was for the past year and a half deep into marathon mode. I'm starting to panic a little bit. My body's in a lot of pain. I just draw a smile, Summit. Meaning, I was eating, running daily, um, doing all the necessary things. For the past three months, I haven't done anything. I went to the Nike store and possibly the New Balance store to see what new shoes they have on because this is what's on my feet. Yoga. Oh. Is this not the Nike running store anymore? Thank you. Is this the Nike running store still? They changed it? We're just not focused on running anymore. Wow. Thank you. Oh, they're not focused on running anymore. What is this? I don't know what this is. What the fuck is that? Okay. Um, okay. Uh, these get a positive no from me. People have been reviewing these on Nike. Um, I don't know how to feel about them. They just look like more of the React, which is what I had before. Mm, 160 is about the same price. Upgraded React to me. If I would get any, I would get these. I'm gonna get these, but it's out of season. Don't need these anymore. These, don't need these. What for? The new version is out. And these are damn near the same price. I've had these, the Vomeros. Time to upgrade the Vomeros. Um, there's something in the forefoot in the Vomeros that keep wedging between my big toe and my whatever toe is after that. These Turbo 2s have been the best to me. I've had these. I wore, they, my issue with these was they wore out pretty fast. And I guess uh, Nike listened because now there's more rubber. Would I get any of these Nikes? The only one I would get at this point would be these. And I'm not getting those. What I'm really looking for is I'm looking for these but in the running version these are just trainers how much are these 120 wow it's such a brolic shoe 120 dollars just left nike and they went from running to yoga or athleisure so uh whoa Ooh. it's just how fast things change they go when you look at this area which is the flat iron district and there's she said there's about 200 or 25 or something like that, I don't know, 200 studios or something like that within a two mile radius. So they just changed their um, their focus. Hi, how's everything? All right, men's running shoes. Okay, okay. All right, so I am looking for long distance, not any, um, when half, half marathon to marathon. These are new. These are gonna be the few to sell. You let me know what you think about New Balance versus Nike. Uh, New Balance is cool, but um, Nike is more innovative in their technology. Oh, Elliot Kipchoge, let's keep it up. And you could tell that they take a lot more, I guess, thought into. No, I shouldn't say that. Nike is more. punctual on their deliberate placement of technology within their shoes. Whoa! He's got his shoulder. Hear that train? Well, these headphones are pretty good. Uh, noise cancellation, definitely. Hopefully you can hear me through this video, but the noise cancellation is pretty solid. I'm giving these a shot. So I might trade these in for the Apple AirPods. They're both $250. But to all the foreigners and outsiders, we're in Brooklyn. What's up, brother, man? 
Nah, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. good. Find out. Show some love to your brother, man. Nah, I, I'm good. I got a lot of socks. I'm straight. Uh, we're gonna watch the Tyson Fury, uh, Deontay Wilder fight, but I do want a slice of pizza. Sheesh. That pizza over there looks good. Flaming chicken. Really damn good. You should smell. It smells really good in here. I love every moment of it. This is authentic New York City. Authentic. Got my pizza. I got my chicken. I'm getting popping today. I believe that the Indian culture is the next to blow. And when they do, don't say I didn't tell you. This food smells really damn good though. This is my guy Sums right here. This is gonna be my new vlog instruction for a little bit. This is my Gizzle Skywalker. What's good? It's gonna be on all night. <laughs> it's gonna be on all night. But what can be as nostalgic as a paper plane but a hot air balloon? Um, so you might see different collages up here intertwining the Hikon's world within like different shoes and pop the culture items. Yo, the fight's about to start. Everybody's locked in. You hear the ring music? This could be it. This could be it. Oh. Hey, listen. Listen. There it goes. Good night, Charlie. Anthony Joshua, you're next. Home cooked baked food is always better tasting than outside food, right? Mm -hmm. Where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? Where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? Stick to YouTube. It's like TV. So I have to take the kids to swimming today, but before I do that, I wanted to do a taste test. I'm gonna see if fast food is better than regular home cooked food. I'm going to make this home cooked meal. We're gonna cook it. We're gonna leave to go to swimming. On the way back, we're gonna pick up some Popeyes. We're gonna sit down and figure out what's better once and for all. I'm just cutting them, making sure. And then we're gonna cut the onion, and then we're gonna cut these little suckers in half. Then we're gonna go to opening the chicken and seasoning the chicken. We're gonna put it in this bowl, wipe it down with the lemon. Then we're gonna add the oregano, adobo. <laughs> cut these little garlics into small pieces. Just keep going, small as I can. And uh, what I've learned was that it's the actual vegetables that's actually increased the way that my food is tasted. We have the garlic, we, we minced that up really well. Most people just go, oh yeah, everyone cooks with onions and garlic and yeah, but that's what makes the food taste good. That's all I do. I don't really make it too pretty or anything like that. And when it bakes, I guess it marinates. It really starts smelling good once you start cutting up all of these uh, vegetables. You start to almost smell the flavor that you're about to taste. Now that we're done with that, onto the chicken. We wipe the chicken down with the lemon. Make sure we get it nice and good and the cracks and crevices. We don't want salmonella and I don't know what that is, but from what I'm told, stay clear. I take the knife and I cut the pieces of the chicken that we don't eat, which is this piece right here and also this little tail right here. Kids, do not try this at home. Now starts the seasoning process. Don't get in. Take some oregano, not too much. You have to kind of go with the feeling. For beginners, you're gonna butcher a couple meals. Like adobo is extremely strong, but for four pieces of chicken, you just kind of have to know. If I do add too much of anything, it'll be something that's not salty. Here's the mushy part. We take the, the seasoned part of the chicken on the unseasoned part, and all we're gonna do is we're gonna rub it together. We take the knife, 
and the fourth. And I just start to each piece. We're gonna put it to four, I mean, I'm sorry, 375. One by one. We take this and then we put it in there. Done. Spread it all around. Cover on. In the preheated yeah. oven. Done. Five minutes later. What happened to your foot, man? I don't know. How'd you get there? I slipped on the couch. You're running back and forth? This guy's foot. They're eating candy before they go swimming. Enjoying it? Okay. You do, right? Good, huh? What challenge are we doing today? And what are we gonna be? How? What are we gonna be tasting? Chicken. Daddy, versus. Five minutes later. Big guy. You ready? I had a nice snack. Good. CK, you ready to go into KFC? I am. What should we get there? Do you have baked chicken? Yeah, we have grilled. One, now how much is one breast? One breast is three to and some. Is it big? Is it big? Yeah. Let me have a big breast, mild. Out. Not baked, right? Yeah. Not baked? Baked or grilled? Uh, this one is good. Let's just do one piece. One piece. One piece donuts? One, one piece grilled baked. Let's see. And throw in two free cookies right there for them. You can take three cookies at $2. We don't sell one cookie. Ah, forget it. For them? Yeah. Okay. How many? Thank two? Thanks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See? There you go. You eat at home? No. You eat here? Yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> We're gonna give this a shot. Ready? What are you gonna try first? Okay, try. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Mm. Now, KFC. One, two, three. Mm. What tastes better? Your chicken. Your you... chicken because this tastes a little seashell tea. Ah! The home cooked meal won over KFC. Why is why is the home cooked meal better? It has more flavor. The one that tastes more smoky is KFC. The salty better? No, I think your one is really better. <laughs> Holla at me, KFC. I'm happy. Mm -hmm. Daddy won. That goes in the trash. Where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? Where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? Stick to YouTube. It's like TV. When it comes to pizza, everyone thinks they know what their best pizza is. From all the years of eating pizza, I figured out one thing. You choose the pizza you want to eat based on the mood you're in. I've been feeling claustrophobia. That's a real thing. Today, we're gonna taste dollar pizza versus expensive pizza. One bag of 22. <laughs> 15. What's up guys, do you guys have a special? Minimum $5. I'm gonna pay with card. Let's do it, appreciate it. We're about to taste it. Here it is right here. Oh yes, oh yes. Gotta get that uh, garlic. First taste test. Not too heavy, has nice salt to it. Cheese is okay. 
The grease is good, great taste. This is some good New York City authentic pizza. Hey man, thank you so much. That was really good, I appreciate it. Okay, yeah, that was solid. Now we're gonna go to another high rated pizza spot in New York City, Bleecker Street Pizza. We're almost there. Wow. Bleecker Street Pizza. Here we are. Three dollars a slice compared to three dollars two slices and a soda. So let's see what three dollars a slice gets you. This is Greg right here with Bleecker Street doing? Pizza. We're doing a taste test to see how good this pizza is okay. compared to the other pizzas in New York City. Okay, you're gonna wanna move on to the block. We're about to put this to the taste test. Pretty good. This pizza is, you can literally taste. I've never been to Italy, but I can imagine this is what Italy probably tastes like. This is worth every bit of $3. Soft, authentic, the, the cheese is top quality. You could just taste a whole different Bleecker Street pizza. Okay. Just had Bleecker Street pizza. Amazing, amazing, amazing. My God, you could taste Italy in that pizza. Moving on, Joe's Pizza. Joe's Pizza, Joe's Pizza. The smell is totally different. I'm wondering if you could actually taste the pizza by the smell. Can I have uh, a slice warm? I'm about to test this out. You take hard? Hold on, I'll be back. I gotta go to the ATM and get cash. While I was walking to the bank to go get money to pay for Joe's Pizza, I seen this place. West 4th Pizza. Let's see what this is all about. How much is a slice? How appetizing does this look? Let me get one slice warm. We're doing a taste test to see which pizza tastes the best in this area. Where do you rank? Best pizza. This? Yes. We're about to see. We're gonna do this. West 4th Pizza. Like that gooey cheese, you could smell the cheese. They put Parmesan in it. See how the cheese sort of just like sticks together? I told them I had to run. Honestly, this pizza does not taste good at all. West 4th pizza, thumbs down. Even the dollar pizza tastes better than this. That goes in the trash. Back at it. Slice. Oh, burnt. Oh, wait, hold on. Don't give me the burnt pizza. We're doing a review here. You want to make sure this is good. This is going online. You know, you want to. Here we go. Joe's Pizza. The cheese complements the sauce, and the sauce is the main ingredient. This is good for on the run or if you feel the need for a little salt in your life. Joe's Pizza. All right, man. Thank you. Thank you. How was it? So, so? It was good. It was good. It was good, it did the job. All right. Thank you. Joe's Pizza was good. With the help of either garlic or some other sort of seasoning, it turns into something else. I'm only doing this just to show you what it's like in New York City restaurant. Oh my God. You walk into Starbucks to use the bathroom, that's what you get. There's only one real way to know how good a pizza is, and that's through your canine nose. You have to walk in, and you have to smell how good it is. Is your pizza the best in New York? Yes. Why? <laughs> Look how good this looks. I taste the crust more than anything. The cheese is okay. The grease is okay. There's a pizza shop on every block in New York City. You can ask the average New Yorker what their favorite pizza is, and they'll probably tell you it's their local pizza or a pizza they grew up eating since they were small. This is probably the best pizza in New York. You taste the pepperoni, the grease, a little bit of cheese, but it's more bread than anything. The mixture is so good. I don't even know how to explain how good this is. Penn Street Pizza. These are my rules for knowing what pizza to buy in New York City. If you're really hungry and you don't care, $1 pizza. If you're really hungry and don't care about price, Prince Street Pizza. If you want the New York pizza experience, Joe's Pizza. If there's nothing else open at night, $1 Pizza and West 4th Pizza. The winner, Prince Street Pizza. 
Second place, Bleecker Street Pizza. Wow, that was a swindle and a half if I've ever seen one. That lady right there, she brings me into this place. She sits me right down and goes, you're gonna have to pay $350 for photographs. She's like, would you be able to do it? I was like, um, let me think about it. And she goes, okay, follow me. So we walk back out and she pushes the elevator and she goes, call me when you're ready. There you have it, the swindle. Everybody's still out playing. It's like, either we're unaware, we're uneducated, or we just don't give a shit. Everyone's still out playing. I guess it's not a problem, you know? There's not enough people infected. It's better that it be blown out of proportion and keep your ass safe than not. Because you're gonna be pointing fingers at the government if they don't take these precautions to keep you safe. So stop saying it's blown out of proportion. It is blown out of proportion. Duh. Can't just be touching everything anymore. I'm gonna give me some donuts. Woo! Yeah, boy. Oh, girl. Two for seven? That means the rainbow cookies, which are $7 themselves, are on sale. Oh, yo, all the damn all the meat is gone? What the hell? This ain't normal. What is this? Turkey wings? What the hell is this? All the food is gone. I didn't really do the math too heavy on this. And it's becoming a little more real to me now. Do you, do you guys have any more like ground beef? Right now, right now. So what do I do? Tomorrow. What time? I don't know. Well, there you have it. I think all I'm getting is donuts. Yeah. Oh. Everyone, look at my braids I did um, yesterday. It was so cool. Hello. Okay, I'm gonna go outside. Wish me. No. No what? Go with me. No, you can't go outside. What? What if you get sick? Uh, God, make sure you wash your hands and don't stay a lot outside for too long because you might get the coronavirus and spread it. You better cover your mouth. And you don't want it to spread anymore. Or if you can't go to restaurants anymore, it's and now, now, now we're just gonna stay home all day. <laughs> Are you ready for action? Yeah, man. Hey, you know, I'm ready. He, wa he wants me to shave his hair in the car. <laughs> you know, I love me some cookies, but I ain't gonna do it, Dougie K. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, look how much the gloves are. Is that worth it? These things are like a $6. I'm a need for it. You know what you want? No, I was gonna, you know, in the, in the middle, in the middle of a uh, of a crisis, you know, a lot of stuff is for free. So tell me, are you nervous about this uh, Corona stuff? Not really. It's actually, wait, guys, Irish Spring or Dove? What's better? He said he lives by this. These mess up the skin. What do you think? Please leave it in the comments below. I really do need help. But for now. I'm back here, mama, I'm taking, stop my rain. The sun's so hot that the sh stains. It puts a blot on my skin, okay. I got more problems than Corey Hain. Thank God you cannot see my pain. I hid that sh really far away. 
but you can conjure it if you're really plain. Really plain, something like Kanye. Boring, something really gay. Something really that got me like, hey. I got to move when I'm standing in my shoes. I got a groove, baby. I got a groove. I'm in my crib. I look at a screen. I look at my ribs. And then I want to scream. No, I can't believe the shit that I be seen. The conversations I've had. The shit that I'm... I'm calling Keith Batiste. I'm calling Keith. Punch you in your mouth. Spit up your gold teeth. Then flick shit with a blixer. Then hop on a jixer. She says she want to chill, but I want a Netflixer. She was acting iffy, so I left her. With her friend and her, together. They was calling me Epstein, whatever. But as long as the check's clean, it's cheddar. Five minutes later. Oh yeah. Woo! All right. We're gonna go to the stove. I've been going outside a lot if you follow me on my Instagram. Let's get seats. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this and comment. Let me know what you're going through. This beard I'm growing is on purpose. It's by design. People normally stay away from guys who look a little crazy, who don't shave, who look like they haven't showered. Thank you to all the teachers and all the servicemen and women. And thank you to all the nurses and doctors. All the cookies and food are here during the daytime. Really shouldn't even be eating these donuts. You know what? Smile, I'm on camera. Don't you hate it when you go to a store and then you get there and then you realize you don't really want anything? Maybe you just want something to do. That's me. When was the last time you seen Manhattan streets look like this? This looks very strange. There's absolutely no cars in the street. Wow, look at this. 